Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Yet another glorious day lies ahead of our glorious nation as we continue to make progress towards a glorious future. I will not bore you with a prolonged introduction, folks. I just want to mention, as always, if you've been enjoying this series, if you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a direct impact on how I approach content on the channel, so make sure your voice and opinions are heard by leaving those likes and comments down below. Really quickly, actually, I want to mention, it's been kind of funny because recently especially, there's been a bit of an explosion, I guess, in how many people are watching the first couple of episodes of this series. And back then, it was called a mini-series. So it's kind of funny actually seeing all the comments come through that say things like, mini-series, I'm seeing this playlist is 200 episodes long. And just thinking about how, you know what, yeah, it is 200 episodes long because I've been loving the game and evidently y'all have been too. Like I say, folks, likes and comments they go a long way in just letting me know what people are interested in, and they do directly impact what I go about doing on the channel, and this is a prime example of just that. This was supposed to be 10 episodes, 10 episodes, and now we're hitting 220. Anyway, I said I wasn't going to bore you with a prolonged introduction, but I did just want to celebrate the uh, massive uh, <laughs> length of this uh campaign of this playthrough of this let's play whatever you want to call it uh, especially because of some of those uh, comments i've been seeing lately and it is it is funny to me because it was yeah it was gonna be 10 episodes and here we are um countless million rubles and countless million dollars in with no end in sight in the growth of our nation and in all the uh, experimentation that uh, comes with it. On that note, actually, the latest set of updates, including this user interface and some of the features we've been talking about lately, such as the secret police, etc., have been released now onto the main branch. So if you own the uh, game in its early access form, you should now have access to all of that. And the developers have also added some minor changes uh, between, you know, when we first looked at it and and now you might have noticed some of it during the previous session such as when putting down roads there's a slightly uh, upgraded texture it looks a bit better they've improved tiling on the terrain as well so some of the some of the changes are just visual that some of the new changes or the latest changes are visual beyond the uh, bigger kind of ui and and secret police changes that we talked about uh, you know way back when it first entered into beta uh, but i'm curious to see what's next but we'll talk about that when, when the devs start talking about it. Let's talk about what's next for us. So we still have this uh, population crisis going down, as many of you so uh, rightly put it. Well, it's more of it's, it's a housing crisis, which, you know, I guess is... Ah. <laughs> hmm. The timing is impeccable. Uh, it, it, it's a... Uh... You know, it's it's kind of fitting is what I was gonna uh, what I was gonna get at at first. Uh, but in in all seriousness, jokes aside, yes, I I do certainly feel the pressure and the screws being turned. But uh, like I said, like I promised, if we hit that seventy five without seeing a significant change in uh, it, you know in, in our situation, I will start just simply paying for a lot of these constructions as an emergency to protect the interests of our nation. Of course, uh, many of you pointed out that uh, there is. One concern still with regards to our uh, population uh, structure, the, the, the age pyramid might be something uh, to worry about. Because if everybody who's turning 30 is leaving, see, b basically, we have to cut this problem off uh, before it basically sets, for lack of a better word. And I'm going to try and explain this as, as best as I can and as best as I understand it. But basically, if everybody who hits the age of 30 leaves before we're able to get housing for people at an age under 30, right? If everybody at the age of 30 leaves and they've never lived on their own, then they're not giving birth to new babies. Because you only uh, have... a population growth, you only have babies from adults who are paired up and living not with their parents, right? So anybody who's 21 plus living with their parents, they're not making babies. Anyone who hits 30, not only have they not made any babies, they're actually leaving the nation as well. And what that means is we're slowly pushing towards an inverted age pyramid, which means that we have fewer youths and many more uh, elderly individuals. And as that average age ticks upwards and upwards, we might reach a tipping point where we don't have anybody 
to give birth to the next generation, where people are too old on average to create a sustainable growth rate. And that is kind of scary. I hadn't thought about that and it was brought up in the comments and I was immediately like, oh, you know what? Right. That is very much a thing in this game because again, this game likes to simulate so much stuff. I think it's absolutely impressive. I think it's ridiculously cool that the game does keep a track of all this stuff on like an individual citizen basis and stuff. Honestly, this game blows my mind consistently, but it hadn't occurred to me until I read the comment that right, our, our, our situation could end up being a lot worse than it actually is if we're not able to bring that average age down. Now, over the last two years, you can see a significant increase. We went from, I would say that looks like 38 up to now 44. Oh no, you know what? Yeah, roughly, give or take, roughly 38 to about 44 now. So that is a significant increase. And uh, I'm not sure what the cutoff point, I believe the comment mentioned the cutoff point and I just can't remember now, but I can't, uh, I can't tell you with 100% certainty what the cutoff point for like pregnancy and stuff is, <laughs> but uh, but it is maybe something we need to uh, start thinking about. Um, okay, that would explain also the drop in, in babies, right? Because again, all those 21 pluses living with their parents, not having children anymore. Uh, though we can see there's a there's an upward trend now, which is promising. That's promising. There's an upward trend. Uh, and, 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 and as those babies become children, we'll see an upward trend here as well. Of course, it's, you know, seven years delayed or whatever. So hopefully we're going to see a return to form over here. But yeah, that's a big yikes. That is a very big yikes. Um, we need to get this housing done ASAP. And then, and then, and then, and then get those 21 pluses. I wish this would like, I wish there was an, a, a way to see, and maybe there is, but I wish there was a way to see how many 21 pluses are, you know, I wish there was a way to see, yeah, how many 21 pluses are closer to being 30 than not. Just so I had an idea of my impending doom, I suppose. It's not the end of the world. We can always bring immigrants in to help bolster the population and stuff as well. Um, but uh, it's just funny to think about this uh, potential stagnation in our sort of local, let's call it, growth rate for, for lack of a better word. Um, actually, on that note as well, though, I just want to mention very quickly, so many of you have pointed out that I should really have been building the um, facilities uh, before I built the housing because what's happening now is people are moving into these houses, but they have no uh, facilities to, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unpause the game. My apologies. I'm going to unpause the game so the sun rises uh, sooner. I hope it's not been too dark. Actually, if you could let me know, because it depends on monitor settings and stuff, right? Is the night way too dark to see anything? Because my monitor settings, I've got it color calibrated. I can actually see, you know, in the night for the most part, not perfectly, but I can tell what's going on. So I, I would like to know just so I can, again, tailor my content uh, a bit better based on, on what you guys say in the comments. Like if it is pitch black and you can't see anything, then uh, I'll keep that in mind uh, for nighttime conversations, I guess. But uh, sorry, so yeah, what I was saying was many of you were suggesting that I should build the facilities first and, and then uh, let the residences get built. And normally, that's totally something I would agree on and, and I hear you on. And you might still be right. You might absolutely still be correct. But my thinking, just to explain where my head was at and, and why it was there, is that right now, our number one concern is people who are leaving right as they hit the age of 30, right? If I move 29-year-olds to a residential area that doesn't have access to food, yeah, they'll get upset. Yeah, they'll, you know... I mean, not that happiness is a major problem or anything, but yeah, they'll get upset. They'll they'll stop being satiated and all that stuff. But that gives us a longer runway still. It still gives us some time before they're upset enough to escape, right? So that's my thinking. Because the moment they hit 30, boom, they're gone, right? But if they're just hungry for a couple of days or, or even I think like a month maybe, I don't know what the time limit is, but if they're hungry for some time or they don't have access to culture or whatever for some time, they're fine. They're still sticking around and potentially even having babies and stuff, right? So that's something to, to consider as far as my order of operations here. Now, again, I very well may still be wrong in my approach, but uh, but that was where my head was at and that's why I took the approach that I took. I started to see a little bit of fluctuation and fluctuation sorry around a a number here that's that's nice at least it's not like a fall off a cliff over here but i'm not going to keep my eye on that number for too long there is a lot to get done um in terms of uh these residential areas and uh, some of the spaces that we want to build up over here as well in fact you know what now that the sun's up i'm going to go ahead and pause 
And, uh, well, first of all, before I forget, I'm going to demolish this again, because again, thank you for pointing it out, but, well, actually, you know what, hold on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is this too curved? It was pointed out that the, uh, the curve across the river would, uh, would actually make these, uh, pillars too tight, but it feels like it's straight enough. You know what, better safe than sorry. Why don't we go ahead and get rid of those, and let's go ahead and build the concrete bridge straight out, right, rather than a curved, um, extension. Build it straight out, right to the edge. There. Looks straight enough to me. Of course, the uh, autosave has to happen right then. Oh, that's actually not straight at all, is it? Just trying to make sure, again, I want to make sure that... Uh, try and get this as straight as possible. I want to make sure that the, uh, you know, once the bridges are built, we're not seeing trouble for our, our ships, obviously. That would be a shame. Just trying to plan around that. I'm trying to make these... I can't tell for the life of me if this is straight or not. It looks curved downwards. Can't be the only one who's seeing it, but let's, uh... Let's try that. Could be my eyes playing tricks on me. That... that that looks curved downwards, but hopefully that's straight enough. You know, hopefully that's straight enough. I could also build this section and and see how the um, the ships deal. But we'll 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 <laughs> cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, that's for later. What I actually wanted to focus on with pausing right now in the middle of the day is this uh, extension to the highway over here. It was pointed out that we have so much construction. Uh, going on over or rather so many uh, construction offices and construction materials available over here uh, that we would probably want to get this thing built to move those um, resources sooner rather than later or more quickly rather I should say um, than, than the rate they're moving at right now but also beyond that I'm hoping that making that connection would bring the trucks from these distribution offices up through this highway all the way across these mountains these forests and, uh, and and bring food more uh, easily and more quickly to some of these um, endpoints. Not just food, but food, meat, clothes, the works, right? Because if we have we have these uh, distribution offices here, you know, I wonder if hmm, if I could just get these guys to connect up over here, we would actually have a huge huge shortcut. Because right now these guys have to like pop out. Go across, go up, go up, around, up, and that's such a waste of time. Oh, you know what? They could also right come up over here. Right, right. I forgot about this connection. They would. What would they do? They would sort of come out. This guy's hooked up over here, so they'd come out. They'd go over, around, and then up and onto the highway, and then cut straight across. Right. That saves so much time compared to whatever nonsense they're doing right now. So I should really get that set up. However, a couple of episodes ago, I got some feedback with regards to doing these as time lapses because it can get kind of painful to watch and so for the first time in quite a few episodes uh, I suppose it's time lapse time all right folks I am really glad I decided to approach this with a time lapse because while I knew it was going to take some time to do I, I knew it would be a, a time consuming endeavor I did not expect it to take nearly an hour to produce uh, that's right, folks. This highway section and all of the little uh, adjustments that were required as a result of it took roughly an hour to uh, to plan and 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 build. Uh, but I do think it was well worth it. Um, I'm also glad again that I decided to do the time lapse as opposed to do it in real time because it would have been the entire episode. Uh, but yeah, the reason why it ends up taking so long, as, as you'll see as we kind of go through the process, uh, is is manifold. I mean, for one. The pillar heights are, are something that I wanted to keep an eye on. I wanted to make sure that they didn't look hideous, that it didn't, you know, we didn't have highway roads that were doubling as skyscrapers, right? So I wanted to make sure the, the pillar heights were well adjusted. Um, I wanted to make sure that the shape of the highway itself was nice when looked at from up on high. Like I wanted to make sure the curves were all, you know, as smooth as they can be, of course. And uh, I wanted to make sure, like, that's all you know, aesthetic, and that's all arguably not super important to some, but I do care for it. Uh, but here you're looking at stuff that is absolutely important uh, and, and is more functional than than, than form, uh, and that is the, the future planning of this area. This is a very complicated space, 
right? Um, there's a lot going on over here. I don't know, for example, if we'll ever actually end up using this second set of platforms at this train station. But if we are going to do that, I want to make sure that, you know, I've planned for it. And yeah, it might seem a little wasteful or silly, like, oh, well, you know, what if you don't end up using it? If I don't end up using it, then I will have wasted a couple of minutes. <laughs> it's an understatement. I will have wasted some time today in making sure it works. But if I do end up needing it, and I didn't spend the time today, then down the line, whenever I realize that I need this space, the, the tracks over here, I'd hate myself, right? I'd, I'd be kicking myself. So I, I am much happier to spend that extra time, uh, you know, getting all these infrastructure elements in place today so that our, um, you know, uh, pillars aren't going to cause trouble, so that our height aren't going to cause trouble so that we have enough room for everything to move as might be necessary. So that is actually what ended up taking a lot of our time today. Uh, and it's kind of funny because like, again, like most of this stuff that you're seeing me work on right now isn't actually going to be built today, but it needed to be planned because, and, and I hope to see this, I don't know if it's possible based on the game's engine and stuff, but I, I'd like to see this evolve as a bigger, I guess, um, task. I, I know this is not an easy thing to implement, so so don't don't think of it as a flippant statement, but it would be nice for things like highway um, pillars or bridge pillars and and, and roads and, and tracks and things like that to kind of adjust to each other a little bit after they've been built. Because again, uh, just as a reminder, the reason why I put down all those roads and tracks first is because now when I take the bridge over top of them, um, the pillars will space themselves out to make sure that you know, the roads and the tracks and all can actually fit underneath perfectly fine, right? And that's great. I'm glad it works that way. But I wish it also worked kind of retroactively where, you know, if you've already built your bridge, you've already got your pillars and you try to pass a road underneath it, the game understands that it needs to now move those pillars. And I get why that might be a bit more difficult here. Uh, I mean, it's already a difficult thing to begin with. Uh, as something to develop. It's already a difficult thing to, to, to begin with. But because the game actually, you know, builds these things you know it doesn't like they don't magic out of thin air you know resources are moved uh things are are are, are like brought to the construction site people are brought to the construction site and then those pillars are built and then the you know the road is built like i understand all that would complicate something and, and, and not just complicate but would also maybe potentially break the design um like ethos as it were of the game uh, to, to make it just like retroactively just shift pillars slightly left and slightly right to allow roads to pass under. I, I get that. Um, but, as I say often, um, not just about this game, but about many games, uh, there's a balancing point between realistic and fun. And these are video games after all, right? It's not a full simulation game. It is a video game. Um, and, and so I feel like there's a bit of balancing to be done there between, again, the fun factor and the realism factor. Uh, because it's something that comes up often, right? If you ever want to retroactively change something between the footprint sizes of buildings and the uh, issues with like steep roads and, and the way terrain smoothing works, all this stuff kind of comes together to create nightmarish situations. And in interest to avoid that in the future, I'm going through a nightmarish kind of situation right now. And again, it's 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 fun in the right doses, but I'm going to be so upset if, you know, 10, 20, 30, even 50 episodes from now, if this series continues for that long, uh, if we end up seeing an issue over here and I have to rebuild this entire area. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I've planned ahead well enough. Um, but should that come to pass, I mean, it's it's infuriating, right? So in the interest of avoiding that kind of uh, situation, it'd be nice if these roads and pillars and stuff could, in fact, yes, retroactively... Um, kind of adjust themselves when you're making infrastructure changes. Anyway, huge distraction, I suppose you could say, but it is a core part of today's time lapse. That's the, as you can see, biggest sort of time consuming element today um, is is future planning for <laughs> for all this stuff. That's, that's not entirely true. It's not the biggest time consuming element. The last little road section uh, was the result of me trying to figure out how to make the, uh, the highway connect over here, but uh, but, but there's definitely a lot of today's time lapse is definitely focused around um, 
future planning and then and then working on the actual highway itself <laughs> it's kind of it's just kind of funny to think about anyway uh building our uh, our ramps over here it i'm pretty sure i, I i've got everything uh laid out correctly but that first road is the uh this sort of coming from the left of screen, heading towards the right of screen, you take the ramp, you end up on the right side of the road if you want to go north. The ramp that I just built, the diagonal uh, at the bottom there, that one is if you're coming from, uh, you know, the construction offices or, or the distribution offices, you take a right, you go down that uh, uh, down that, that bridge at the bottom, and then you can go straight south. So that'll give you access to the actual cities over here. And now I'm working on the... Uh, the ramp where if you're leaving the city over here and you want to go back to the distribution offices, you take that outer ramp, right, uh, going counterclockwise on the outer ramp to, to get onto the highway. And then over here, I'm just trying to make this connection over here so that if you're coming from up north, which doesn't exist just yet, but if you're coming from up north, uh, you'd be able to take that one ramp that isn't a bridge and, uh, and, and hang that right turn because you're coming south from up top of screen. You're coming south. You hang that right turn uh, no bridge or anything. You go straight up top, and you can continue back to the uh, distribution office and uh, um, construction offices and things like that. Uh, this is... I, I think this junction works over here. I think it'll be quite effective. I think it looks quite nice as well. I'm pretty pleased with the uh, the visuals of it. And uh, down the line, if we need to uh, build a bridge over here to go across the river, I do a quick test. I, I don't love the side of this, raising it too high, but but it is possible if we need to. We can raise it quite high. And, uh, and have a road connection over here. And that means that construction offices and distribution offices can, you know, go across the river pretty uh, quickly up over here as well from all the way back at Zavotsk and Brixtonia. But folks, that is a time lapse. It's time to head back to regular speed. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse. And uh, you know what? I'm 100% glad that was a time lapse because if it wasn't, then that would have been this entire episode. That would have been this entire episode um this is a uh, a very complicated um a bit of infrastructure here primarily because it um well intersects with so many other pieces of infrastructure you 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 will have seen and i'm pretty sure i, I probably narrated over that time lapse i was gonna just do music in the background but it ended up being about like what just short of 10 minutes long if my math is correct um i haven't you know actually time lapsed it yet so i'm just guessing over here based on the length of my actual recording but uh, i think it, it ends up being around 10 minutes long and I, I think 10 minutes of just listening to music um watching me build roads might you know might not have been uh, might not be amazing uh and i've probably described some of the the thinking here already but just to reiterate in case you decided to skip past it or what have you um yeah there's like train tracks there's roads there's roads there's you know upcoming bridges and stuff there's all kinds of stuff going on uh, in this area especially and i wanted to plan you know, I wanted to plan ahead. I figured that we would not have it, you know, the fact of the matter is these tracks might never actually exist. I might never actually build these tracks, but if I do build these tracks, chances are they won't take the same path as uh, as these tracks over here, right? Chances are they'll split off and, and, and do something else all the way over here. So that's why I kind of like pull them over. They might even like loop back. I don't know. I, again, they might never exist. These ones are more likely to happen. The ones down over here are more likely to uh, actually be a thing. But the ones up over here, I'm not sure where I would take them. But I wanted to make sure that if and when the time came to actually, yeah, you know, use these uh, platforms i want to make sure the option was there to uh, to go up over here worst case scenario if we do decide to pursue you know a straight north south uh, approach for these platforms as well we just have to rebuild this section of uh, of highway yes we will have wasted time today in in getting all this to work but i'd rather that than uh, you know down the line assuming i'll go straight north south and then realizing that i'm actually going to go east west with these guys and then having to redo this entire section so i feel like this was more future proof uh more kind of like a bit more foresight involved here uh I'm, I'm hoping it it pays off i'm hoping i'm hoping all that thinking ahead pays off and even over here you might have noticed at the end of the time lapse i was just experimenting to see just how high a bridge can get i don't love how it looks when all of a sudden the bridge goes like uh, this is not my actually hmm you know what this isn't my favorite part of this entire area in the future, we might need to rework this. I, I wish these things, I wish you could smooth these like joints up, you know? 
but anyway, sorry, I, I digress. Uh, I think it's fine as it is right now, uh, but I was experimenting to see just how high a bridge could get, and I didn't love how it looked at its highest point, but we can, in fact, extend uh, the road over here to climb very abruptly. You'd, like, need a chain to pull your car up unless you had a very powerful engine, I feel like, but very abruptly we can raise the... Uh, the um the road up to kind of match the level of this and then take a bridge across as well so if uh, if we wanted this to continue over here we very much could and ships should be able to pass under it still so you know test it for that as well the train tracks i mean we might actually have some trouble with the train tracks uh, if i go ahead and take a look i should have checked this earlier but uh i'm here now can we raise this high enough maybe you know what? Yeah, that's as high as it goes, and it looks like we can, in fact. Again, I would I would rather not, because it looks kind of goofy, but if we have to, we can raise these tracks high enough. And and there are a couple of goofy-looking things over here. Um, this sudden drop over here, yeah, you enter, and then all of a sudden you drop, like, what is this? A huge, like, whoa, 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 how big is this drop? But you drop, you know, it's like your train has an elevator pulling you down. So there's a couple of silly elements over here, but uh, honestly, I, I gotta just accept them, I think, because of the uh, terrain limitations... And just the limitations in general of the game. Anyway, just a quick overview of what we did during that time lapse. I am really excited to see this connection come through because, uh, again, as I was mentioning before the time lapse, this should really help speed up the uh, rate at which um, not just construction materials from Zavotsk, because these guys will, will come down this way, they'll loop around, they'll get on this road over here and make their way over. Not only will it speed up the uh, arrival of construction material and um, vehicles and stuff from Zavotsk, but it should also speed up the distribution uh, from these distribution offices as well. Can I actually, I wish you could see the roads they take, but uh, what they probably do now is, um, again, from back over here and from all three of these, they'd get out, they'd probably, I, I think, get down to here, come back up this way. I, I wonder if I should get rid of this one-way, you know, loop. Because cause then what would happen is they would go straight out over here, up, and right into the highway. It just saves a couple of... Maybe a minute at most. But that feels worthwhile, you know? It feels kind of worthwhile. We'll leave it be for now as is, but yeah, I figure they'll come out, they'll head down south. Um, well, they'll come out, they'll go to their respective road cargo stations, and then head down south, over, up, onto the highway, and then straight across, straight across, straight across all the way across this way it is a long journey but it's much better to do that than uh, to get you know caught up in this tangle down over here or to, to to go down over here all the way across and then have to go um up over here down over here right it just feels a bit smoother i think i think i hope so anyway i'm excited i'm am i am very excited let's go ahead and hit play build all this stuff and see if it actually works i wonder if I think these guys are fine. I was like just wondering if it would be faster to try and hook them up over here, but uh, no, I think I think this would just be fast as is. All right, cool. Um, this is kind of ridiculous. I'm not sure which where I want to see the building happen from. I think I think all the way over here. I'm quite satisfied with how this looks from up on high. Down low, it has some you know funkiness to it, but look, we'll like rarely look at it from that angle, right? So let's go ahead and yeah, get this uh, bad boy built. Um, geez, I'm kind of nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little nervous. Uh, let's resume. Over to our roads. Using rubles, of course. We got to rush this, right? We got to rush this. <laughs> Look at that uh, frame rate. And, uh, yeah. Quick save happened. Perfect timing there. Didn't is not going to interrupt us now. Go for it. Look at that. Look at that. Off in the distance somewhere. Oh, you can see it roughly like in the center of the screen. Good stuff, good stuff. I really love seeing this. It's an expensive project. I should have checked it before and after on our uh, funds. This is a very expensive highway. But you know what? I, 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 it had to be built. It had to be built. It had to be paid for. And I'm glad actually to connect it up in this corner over here rather than where the uh, original one was. Like, you can see the one um, to the left of the screen. And now there's another one to the right of the screen. I feel like I feel like that's fine. I didn't want to do a huge cloverleaf right next to uh, the farthest left. Right at the edge of the screen, you can see that uh, one uh, 
junction or intersection, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to do a huge clover leaf right next to that. That to me felt messy. I'd much rather these like smaller, um, you know, junctions uh, just next to them. I don't know. I it, it, it is it ideal? No, but uh, but I prefer it to uh, to some of the other options we had. Again, in, in, a, in a future series, sometime you know, what, with all the lessons I've learned. I might approach all this stuff very differently, but where we are right now, I'm pretty pleased with how this is uh, coming together. And we'll uh, we'll upgrade those dirt roads as well, of course, just to make sure that uh, everything's fully accessible. We'll get everything working as one ways as well. And you can see way off in the distance, way, way off in the distance, uh, you can see the, uh, the highways are about to meet actually as well. Oh, it's so cool to just see this uh, play out. But... Um, yeah, as soon as this is done, we'll get these set up as uh, one ways as well. We'll hopefully see both, again, Zavotsk and the distribution offices start to use this highway. Uh, we have to assign the distribution office to the um, well, to the actual stores and stuff as well, right? Let's not forget that. I want to make sure I prioritize that, and then I can go in and continue planning the uh, residential area, the, the growth of the residential area. And just as I say that, another building got completed, and I'm sure filled right up, so that uh, doubly applies the pressure of, uh, of getting these distribution offices up and running. But I do think, yes, that this uh, this highway is going to play a crucial role in, in getting those goods to the people all the way out over here, um, you know, in what used to be the middle of nowhere. But uh, not only will it help out over here, I think it'll help out with, uh, you know, our, our nuclear city and stuff as well. Just bringing all that food over a fair bit quicker, I think, right? Getting down off the uh, highway at this junction and then taking a bridge. If we extend the roads down over here across the river, like I was saying, you know, with the ridiculous, uh, ridiculous uh, height gain, that should make it easy to get food, you know, further out as well. Basically, I think that's all the construction done over here. But basically, we would. Um oh no, these guys are still working. Damn, I was just. A oh, I was literally like a couple of seconds early. Damn it. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, like. They would, they would, the, the, the food trucks or, or whatever it is would kind of drive over right side, right? They would drive over, they'd get off over here, and then they'd immediately kind of, kind of get onto a bridge over here to, to bring it to the, the stores over here, right? Right now, we have these stores up over here. You are getting clothes. Are you not getting food and meat? Uh, I got to check on this. I'm sure they are. They must be. Yeah, yeah, they, they they are, but we just gotta maybe figure out a better uh, way to get the food and stuff up over here. Anyway, uh, point being, really pleased this exists now. I think it's gonna do wonders to our uh, our efficiencies. Hopefully, oh, we, oh, come on, no, you're just a car. You're not gonna head over there. Anyway, we'll 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 take a look. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and assign our one ways. Now it's been pointed out that I can just assign them on kind of one end and the other end. I don't know how y'all feel about that. I, I I don't mind the arrows, but basically what it was suggested was I could do. Um, Oh, you know what? No, I can't. It has to be entire sections. It has to be entire sections. I forgot. Uh, but let's go ahead and... What do I have to do? It's section by section? Yeah, keep forgetting. Let's go ahead and assign you that way. But point being, I could just do one section and I wouldn't have to do every subsequent section because, you know, if it's already a one-way at one end, then of course the rest of it is a one-way as well. Um, but I, I, I don't mind how the, uh, the arrows look. The building on fire. Our our firefighters do a pretty solid job. Um, haven't seen. Uh, well, let's just get these upgrades done over here. With streetlights and sidewalks, yes, please. Auto build. Upgrade all of you and you. And you and you. Let's go. Cool. Get all these into one ways as well, right? Because you'll come down this way. And then that'll be one ways up this way. There we go. But it just serves as a reminder as well of like what direction everything's going in for me. Um, I really hope I've put these down correctly. You'll come down this way, right? You're going up that way as a one way. Why did this not... Uh... There we go. They're all connected. Yeah, let's go ahead and back into build from resources before I make a horrible mistake. Though I guess mistakes are harder to make with this new system, right? You're going up that way. You're coming down this way. Yep. You're going to go up that way. Up this way. Continue on. 
Did I miss a spot? Yeah, I did, didn't I? I did indeed. Alright, that's fine. Pull you over to... Where are we? There. Continue onwards up to... Nope. Here, and then here. Over to here, over to... You're almost done. And over to... Oh, come on. <laughs> there. And there. Sweet. Let's do the trick. These guys will come over this way. Right side, right side, right side. You come on over. You can either hop off and, and head towards the distribution offices and stuff down over here. Or, sorry, the uh, stores and stuff down over here. Or you keep going. You go around the bend and you can keep going up and across the uh, bridge that will eventually be over here. Okay, cool. Uh, on the other side... So this guy will continue up that way. On the other side, we've got these guys able to come up this way. Um, or if you're coming up this way and you want to go back to, let's say, your uh, your distribution office that you came from, you'd go up, you'd go around this loop, up top over here, you'll end up over here, and you'll keep going. Yeah, looks like everything makes sense. I don't think I've missed anything. But uh, y'all, let me know if I did. I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure I've got everything covered over here, but, uh, but just in case. Anyway... That'll be nice and helpful. Let's go ahead and, I mean, keep an eye out for uh, vehicles actually using this. I do think Zavutsk... Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, are you kidding me? This is amazing. This is amazing. I think we're already seeing some action over here. Yeah, see, I'm not the biggest fan of having that connection over there just because of that exact thing. But... What would the other, thi what, what would the other option be? These guys would come down. They'd loop over... Loop over, come down. They loop over, they loop over. Wait, no, they loop. Hmm. Oh, they loop over there and then and then go across that way. If we if we get rid of these connections, I mean, I'm sure they'll still use it. But this, I mean, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Again, I defer to you. Should I get rid of this fake intersection over here, or or do I leave them in? There's there's one over here. There's one over here, and I believe I've got them on these sides as well. They're not the end of the world. I think they're fine, right? But uh, yeah, look at that. Zavodsk's construction uh, vehicles, I believe these are. Yep. Heading on over to uh, the construction sites. That's awesome. That's great. It's going to save so much time. I wish I could see like the comparison of like how much time is being saved exactly, you know? It'd be pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and get you um, over to here. I got this big distribution office working now. Get you over to here as well. Alright, these guys are working on what? Got a couple of these open hulls. What can open hulls carry from a distribution office? Anything that a distribution office? No, I think it's all closed hull and freezers that we need, right? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make some freezer trucks. I'm really hoping that these larger distribution vehicles are able to uh, deliver significantly higher goods at a time which in turn will allow those, uh, like, hopefully it'll make for more efficient deliveries to those stores. Uh, let's go ahead and purchase a freezer. Where are we? Refrigerated. Refrigeration, rather. Um, Kamaz 5460, 20 tons of meat at a time. Yikes. I mean, I think that's the one to go with, right? Yeah, the Kamaz 5460, 20 tons of meat at a time. Purchase that. And let's go ahead and switch on over to the refrigeration. Miles well, 5460. Right after this one's done. Uh, but open hull. I guess we don't need open hulls in... Um... Oh, oops, actually, no. No, 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 no. Not there. But here. We don't need open hulls in distribution offices for citizens' needs. But we do need what we need. Yeah, refrigeration. Where do we need open hulls? We need open hulls at construction offices. Do we have... Construction offices that could use open halls. I do believe we swapped the right ones in over here. Yeah. We got some of these smaller ones, but we could swap them in as well. You know what? I'm getting distracted. Let's let's do the uh, distribution offices first. My apologies. All right, so we got these two here for now. Really, just two? Nah, I'm sure there's a, there's a third one. Yeah, there it is. And there's a fourth one coming as well, I thought. Anyway, three or four. That's fine. Let's go ahead and figure this out. So, you're going to pick up from 
this road cargo station. Food. And eventually when we have a refrigeration truck in here, we can say meat as well. Right. Let me actually check how these guys do it. So from Brickstone, your road cargo station 2, which is this one, they get food and clothes. Clothes are being brought over here. I believe they are. Um, where are we? All right, it's by the cargo stations, right? I wish I could see... Must be. I must be bringing clothes over here. If I, if, I, if I wasn't, then why would I have that assignment, right? We have no clothes here right now, but... I wouldn't have made that assignment if, if, if clothes were never available here, so... Food, clothes, and what else? Electronics, alcohol, meat. I mean, I, I, I know some of that stuff isn't being delivered. Well, I guess alcohol we're purchasing. Electronics, I thought we were driving over as well. We've got plenty of electronics down over here. Well, not plenty, actually. Alright, we might want to, we might need to, rather, restructure our, uh, our approach here. Um, electronics, meat we'll add later. Alcohol, if need be. Again, it's all a matter of destination, right? And destination, let's set the number to 70%. I guess I can't yet. That's fine. I could add this as a loading point as well. Just to avoid congestion, I guess. I think we're fine as, as it is right now. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little thrown off because we're going back to something that we haven't touched in a very long time. So I'm, of course, a little thrown off as far as um, pickup points and stuff are concerned. Okay, let's, let me just check something here again. Let's check you. So you at Road Cargo Station 3 pick up all this stuff except for alcohol. All right, fair enough. Where do you act, do we, we actually get electronics over here? I get it must be. I wouldn't have two separate um, pickups of, of electronics over here assigned, you know? I just I, I wouldn't. That'd be silly. So I must. All right, fair enough. So we do that and then we're going to go ahead and add. Where are these guys? You as a drop off point for all that. And when these guys get done, I'll have these guys added as well. They're nowhere near done yet, but, uh, but when the time comes. When the time comes. Which is hopefully... Oh, actually, this guy is done. Oh, wow, okay. Nice. <laughs> More progress than I thought. Where are we? Not down here. Up over here. Go ahead and add. Body over here. And unload. Yes, everything here. Cool. Wonder uh, when they're going to start rolling out. Where are we? Because what's the deal here? Got a little bit of food. A very little food, actually. Are we not purchasing food? Well, Greenski, all these distribution offices. Heading to this building. I wish you'd get a little icon as like what they're ca like carrying right now. You've got electronics coming. You've got food coming. Okay. Heading to this building, right? Yeah. To unload at the Brickstone Road Cargo Station. You've got food coming as well. Got some clothes coming. Got some meat coming. Okay, good stuff. More food coming. All right, good stuff, good stuff. We might need to start uh, buying food. We're buying meat right now. I believe we're buying food. Probably on, on like some of these buildings that are like headed out right now, right? We'll, we'll see, we'll see. I think we are bringing a fair bit of food in here. Oh, this guy's headed out. I could upgrade that road actually back there. All right, I kind of want to watch this guy though, make his moves. Um, it's our first uh, use of this uh, highway. I hope I hope he uses this uh, upper highway because if he doesn't, then that would you know the joke could be on us, I guess. But I just want to see. I want to see if this guy makes it. He's headed to the the smaller, the fancy corner uh, looking spot store, whatever you want to call it. Can load a little bit of food. Oh, you know what? I forgot to assign. Ah, damn it. Back over here. 70%, there we go. Alright, 
Where are you going? Yeah, they're going to go around the bend over here because of the uh, one-way um, road up there. So it, it makes this faster, actually. That's kind of funny, but that's, that's okay. It's okay. Take that left turn. Yeah, there we go. Really excited for this. I'm like maybe in unreasonably excited for this. Up we go. Please use the right um, highway. If you don't, I'll be a little, <laughs> a little bummed. Surely he will, right? Surely you must be significantly faster. I've got the experimental traffic pathfinding active, which should, uh, which should mean it's able to see how, like, you know, jam-packed these lower roads are. I mean, look at this. This is a rough intersection. It's not the end of the world, but that is, that is quite a pause in our journey. I wonder if there's a way to make this a little bit better. Can you imagine waiting in traffic like this? I mean, I'm sure some of you don't have to. <laughs> it's very real. It's too real. All right. That's right. We're going to go up this way. That's right. Cut that uh, tanker off. Off we go. Very, 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 very tight-knit driving over here. All right. Beauty, beauty. Yeah, we got to figure something out for this section over here. It's very, very packed. Maybe I should get rid of that one-way loop because that one-way loop is really... Um, well, it's preventing us from using this section over here to simply get out of that little uh, area, right? Here we go. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, this is exciting. I'm so pumped. Oh, my God. Any alcohol that gets travel that gets sent up this way, just like don't open it right after delivery, I suppose. Here we go. Oh, that's something special, man. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Now, off we go. Cool. Yeah, this is great. This is great. This must save so much time. Is that truck carrying another truck? That's hilarious. That's adorable. Uh, this must save... This must... Sorry. Save so much time. Um, and I'm, 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 I'm glad again that it was a... Uh, it was a time-lapse build. Though actually, as we cross over here, I realize... No, I think we're fine. I know there was one section where I had to uh, rebuild the uh, the wires. Do I have to... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Do I have to rebuild them here as well? I think so. Glad I checked. Um, medium voltage. There you go. <laughs> oops. Tiny, uh, tiny oops there. No, no big deal. No big deal. We're fine. There we go. Off we go to deliver this food. It's quite the journey. It's well, it's not transnational, I guess, because Vetsarinkagrad isn't connected. We're getting there. This is one thing that I wish. I mean, I guess I could have lowered this a bit. Well, no, not really, because we got to go over those uh, little cabins, right? It's fine. It, it gets covered up enough by the trees, I suppose. And then this again. Like, again, I really wish there were ways to smooth these curves. It would make me so happy if if, if it wasn't such a sharp drop. Because, like, the, the incline itself is fine. I'm okay with the incline. But it's that sudden jarring change in angle that, uh, that I'm not a big fan of. But either way, here we are. The lower section now. Is this really as fast as you can go? Why are you only going 100? Why are you only going 100? Dynamic follow camera. Ooh. Oh, fancy. All right. Feels a little cooler. Is it going to do like cool flyby stuff or? <laughs> I, I, I don't know why, but I do like. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. You know what? I like this. Can't rotate it, though. But, but, I, but I like this. All right, let's see how we uh, get off the highway over here. I, I, I don't want to see its journey back to the distribution office, but I might want to see it get back onto the uh, the road over here. Oh, my God. I don't think the textures were supposed to do that. <laughs> Pretty sure that's just a visual glitch. All right, off the highway and onto these main roads here. That's so cool. All right, I'm not the biggest fan of this camera. It's okay. I prefer having control over rotation and stuff. Up this way, that makes sense. Again, these will all be one ways eventually as well, right? So, be prepared for that. 
look at that. Place is almost entirely built up. A couple of spots still need uh, need some attention, but almost entirely built up. Quite a few people waiting at that bus stop as well. In you go. I want to keep an eye on the unloading here again. It's only four tons this time around, which is nowhere near enough, but I imagine that's all they kind of had available. Uh, it's all they can store here too. That's part of the reason also why I wanted two of these. I mean, one big store would have done the trick, but it's why I'm hoping two will help offset the, the, the trouble. Down over there, we have a bigger store, but uh, but up over here, we needed something. And we looks like we have a jam over here. Fantastic. Why? How did this happen? I have to make some other uh, adjustments, I suppose. Be around, let's go. Oh, this is interesting. He's actually going down this path. I would not have expected that. Really? It's faster to go this way. Alright, fair enough. So you go all the way across, up this way. I'm just trying to take a look here. Then you'd come up over here, loop around and go up that way. Oh, okay, fair enough. I mean, what they'll actually end up doing is probably come up over here and then use this to cross over and then go down... Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not sure. Not sure what they'll decide to do. We're moving over here? We are. I gotta fix that up. Gotta fix that up. But yeah, I'm not sure what you're planning on doing. I, w I wish you could see their planned path. I'm not gonna wait to see what he does all the way up over there. Oh, let's see what this guy does. He goes up. Where are you headed, actually? Asna Road Cargo Station. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So he's headed in the same general area. So this guy actually, yeah, crossed over, is going up this way. Oh, that's what they're going to do. They're going to cross over here and then go up that way. Yeah, see. Like, that, it takes away some of that highway feel a little bit. And that's why I'm kind of wondering if I want to get rid of these and, 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 uh, and make it feel a bit more legit. Or if I want to avoid that because it might break everything. <laughs> Which is a good reason to avoid stuff. All right, where are my refrigeration trucks? Let's go ahead and move you over. We don't need that many of you. Go in here as well. Let's go. And let's go. Let's swap you out to making... Uh, where are they? These guys again. Alright. And then let's go and get this distribution office distributing meat as well. Oh, do I really have to redo this? Oh no, you know what? I just realized. It's because the vehicle's not actually here yet. Once the vehicle arrives at the depot, I can uh, I can assign new goods. There you go. Fair enough, fair enough. My bad. That's my bad. Crap. And again, I forgot to adjust the 70%, didn't I? Wish you would remember. Don't think it does, though, if you get rid of all the... Um, Target buildings. 70%, 70%. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Looking good. We gotta get power down over here, don't we? These guys don't have power. I don't think. Correct, they do not. We gotta get power down over here. What is our population looking like? Ooh. I think we hit another uh, major... Wait, do... Did we hit a drop or did we go up? Um... I can't remember where we were, where we were standing just moments ago. Drop. Must have been a drop. <laughs> Definitely a drop looking at this. Okay, fair enough. I'm getting there. We're getting to that 75 that I said. So you're missing prefab panels and steel. What's the deal up over here? We got to continue some of this construction, right? Some of this stuff has been canceled. Got to resume all of you. Resume you as well. Get our uh, construction offices assigned here properly. Now that the uh, bus stop's done as well, right? Up over here, or do we want to get some of these done instead? I mean, yeah, it's a lot of people who are able to move in, but... Why can nobody reach this one? Oh, the footpath's not connected. 
Let's get to work. Again, trying to spread the use of boards and steel and prefab panels, right? All right, people are moving in over here, but they're not getting much. Food has been delivered over here a fair bit. And yeah, I, you know, I think we do need... See, okay, here's here's my thinking again as to why I've got two sets of uh, shopping centers down here as well. 11 tons, I don't think is enough. And even if trucks keep coming over, like if they're not... If, if this doesn't stay at like, I would say... 15 tons if this area doesn't stay at 15 tons like consistently i feel like we're gonna have trouble for food at least i mean meat again three tons is not a lot of meat that's why i wanted to have two spots so that in one given area at any given time we can have up to for example six tons of meat or 22 tons plus of food or clothes or what have you clothes are not that urgent uh, but that that's that's where my head's kind of at with regards to uh making sure there's stuff here if we discussed this a couple episodes ago. I, there's always the option, of course, of building the warehouse and, and having the forklift facilities and stuff. But as we discussed again a couple of episodes ago, it created a hot mess over here, right? I mean, it just looked unbelievable, unviable, whatever you want to call it. It just seemed unrealistic um, because of how chunky some of those uh, road cargo stations and, and warehouses and stuff were. Uh, so we, we tried to take this tack instead. Now, will it pay off? Will it bite us in the butt? Time will tell. Find out together, I guess. We'll find out together. Um, but these bus stops now, we got to figure out. Passengers waiting over here. Who's waiting up over, not here, but over here? We got passengers waiting. Do these guys all have places to, like, work? Only a handful of people without jobs, actually. It's not bad. Honestly, these things that house only 60 people, they look beautiful, but they might have been a little wasteful. Might have been a little wasteful. All right, where are our power um, substations here? Got one up there. We got one down here. We established this one down over here, right? They're all hooked up, I believe. Uh, what about our underground view over here? This guy's coming over. This guy's coming over. I wonder if I need another one to kind of go up and down this way. Or actually, you know what? Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and establish you down over here, I think. Because even if this road goes by... You know what? Let's play it safe here. Pop it down over here. And I do think... It'll connect everything that's not being reached by this guy down here. He's covering all that. This guy will have a couple of redund redundancies. Yeah, that looks good to me. Pop you down. Flatten the train a bit. Pop you down over there. Right. Let's go ahead and get these uh, medium voltage wires. I wonder if I want to split, actually. So let, let me check something here real quick. I might be able to split right over here get another one out. might be the best call go under all this and hook up over there what's your reach again i guess i wouldn't be able to check until after i i think it covers some of these guys as well right i'm pretty sure it does i mean this guy will cover all these guys almost certainly so there's gonna be some overlap okay good i want redundancies i want redundancies you know what? why don't we go ahead and actually pull from over here where am i oh my god still getting used to all this Medium voltage, make sure it's the highest possible amount. I don't know why it doesn't default to that. I really hope this one is that. Anyway, we'll... Hmm. I can't remember what kind of wire this is. I hope it's the highest voltage. I, I think I, I vaguely remember checking. Vaguely remember checking, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, it'll be fine. Hook you up like this. Don't want to do that. I go into planning mode, please. Want it to look at least somewhat clean, right? Pull you over. Pull you over a bit more. Be here.
There we go. A little bit further. Cool. Eventually we might want to build like a split up over here or over here or something. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll deal with that when the time comes. But if we want to, we can build a split somewhere over here to draw power back up for some reason. Further down here. Or we can put a split down over here right behind these guys and, and, and spread that power around. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and pay for all of that. Let's go ahead and pay for this guy as well. Cool. Very cool. All right. Awesome. As soon as that gets done being built, it'll be awesome rather. Oh, cool. You can actually see some of the construction offices at least. I guess going to Zavutsk is a lot faster going up this way. Oh, this is great. This is awesome. That is really exciting. As the, as the rain comes down, of course, to obscure our view. That's really exciting. It's a very busy part of the city. Very busy part of the nation, I should say. And this is definitely, yes, dropping. And unemployment is going uh, through the roof as well. I think that unemployment, though, is because of that uh, train blockage we had over here just a moment ago. And that's what caused it. And you know what? Now as, uh, well, housing crisis isn't done yet. <laughs> These people are happy. 7,500. 7,500. One of these houses, 300. Need three of these for 1,000. What does what one of these big ones house? Real quick check over here. Um, large 40 story ones? They're the 40 story ones? Yeah, they're the 40 story ones. They house how many people? 740. Wow. So we'd need 10 of them to meet the needs of all of our uh, unhoused 21 pluses. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 coming. And all these others to, you know, supplement that as well, of course, but... 270, that's another 540. These guys coming through as well. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there, folks, but that is it for the day. I think we went on a little bit longer than uh, usual, but I think it was uh, worth it. I think it was worth getting all this set up. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse and the session overall. If you did, let me know down below, folks. Leave a like, leave a comment. As always, it does make a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do, what I don't do. I'm sure y'all are familiar with the drill by now. Um, really excited to see where this goes. We, again, we're, we're, we're coming close to that breaking point. Like I said, I know some of you are saying, look, the, the crisis is here already. Why wait? Because I want to see if we can do it. I want to see if we can beat that number. You know, that's that's it, really. That's it. And we might fail, but if we do, we got plenty of money to rush build all that stuff, and everything will bounce back, and we'll be okay. But but I want to see if we can if we can try. Well, I mean, we can definitely try. I want to see if we can succeed, <laughs> folks. I hope you had a good time. As always, of course, a Massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Das Vidanya.